<laughs> oh boy, are you ready for 40k and the Diversity Matters crowd coming for it? Yes, that's right, they're looking to fix the number one problem with 40k Warhammer. And that's the depiction, or the lack of depiction, of women in the game. That's right, that's right, this is from Changing Game Changing Stories, TRG. But apparently Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader could solve one of the franchise's biggest problems. The fact that it's a boys club, oh no. This is a great shame, since at its best, Warhammer 40k stands as some of the most compelling uh, satire that the United Kingdom has ever produced. It lampoons everything from fascism, colonialism, imperialism, classism, all in its convenient grim dark package, courtesy of the developers and writers at Games Workshop. Like many great dystopias, the theocratic authoritarian re regime of the Imperial of Man is darkly compelling, but the franchise loses something by failing to represent women and minorities in the games because the representation matters. Representation in 40k Warhammer matters. You know, you're walking around in a big mech suit and because you're in a big mech suit and you can't tell who is in the mech suit, it, 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 we gotta have representation. You know, the futuristic nightmare of a fascist situation of these uh, factions have to care about representation this is this is what's wrong with the world it's what's wrong with the world you, you you just can't have it all because you have too much of it love this uh, prospect of space uh, space exploration against the backdrop of a gritty and uncompromising setting dystopias especially are the most compelling when the full range of human experience and expression is illuminated against it's th that very backdrop I, I i gotta tell you something in the future, when we have mechs like this and there's aliens, no one's going to care about this. No one's going to care that they weren't represented as a mech. <laughs> this was one of the best facets of Cyberpunk 2077 and why Citizen Sleeper and The Last Worker offered much memorable takes as the, on the excesses of capitalism. This is against capitalism. Dystopias are compelling because of the people in them and because of the ways in which those people respond to horrors around them. After all, Half-Life 2 would have been far worse if we were just the Gordon, uh, Gordon Frieden. It is my hope that Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader will inspire other developers who used to wish to use for a Games Workshop license to be more creative with their characters. The, the Imperium of Man is vast and offers a near limitless well of humanity to draw from. If more writers and developers choose to take advantage of this, then the game they craft will be much richer. Not really, not when when people want to just sit there and actually paint a model. When you sit there and paint a model in the colors that you care about, doesn't matter if the representation is there or not because you chose the colors of the paintbrush. This is one of those stories that is just, just sitting there waiting, waiting for Polygon and Kotaku to pick up and go, oh look, 40K's correcting all the wrongs in the world. Well, I gotta say that was a tech radar uh, news story. I, it just came under a different banner. Um, now, when it came down to the double standards of 40K, a lot of people, when the 40K decks came out for Magic the Gathering, there was some people up in, up in arms shaking their fists at the clouds, saying, this is racism, this doesn't belong, This they don't represent everyone out there on the market. They built a story from nothing and it just went with it. They, they make a caricature of bad guys. They, it, it, it's the whole thing of it. They make a caricature of bad guys. Hell, if you look at a chessboard and go, oh, there's only two, there's only two colors there. This is racist. This is bad. The representation's not there on the chessboard. Well, it's a game. 
and that is what the whole point of this is it's keeping games fun and exciting and entertaining and you know, who doesn't want to run around in in a game in a video game nonetheless and just shoot things for the hell of it we no one cares no one wants this representation matters uh talk again and again and again just because a game doesn't represent it up front does not mean it's not there it doesn't mean that the people aren't there it doesn't mean that the people behind it didn't build it. It, it it it's still a great game and a lot of people enjoy it and a lot of people want to run with it and just forget about the world that's the whole point it's fantasy they don't want to remember all this stuff that bottles them up especially when i read a thing like this from two years ago about the 40k commander decks that were announced saying racism is the core theme of warhammer it's not it's not at all they they equate it to world war ii bad guys and and all this other fun unique stuff in this post from reddit on the edh sub forum for magic the gathering you know the first one here is 40k isn't racist it's xenophobic and it's not performing and promoting xenophobia it's making a caricature of it that's the whole purpose that's the whole purpose of a lot of these games where they're saying oh there's no representation in these games and it just comes back to it and if you don't give it the time of day no one's going to care about it it's we've seen it over and over again in magic the gathering but now they're going after 40k and probably because it entered the magic gathering the space it's starting to it's starting to come down to everything that's weaving their way into a magic the gathering through the universes beyond like 40k in particular here it's starting to come up on the radar and they're saying that representation's not in these games when they sh surely are there because people play the games no one cares and they just want to have fun with the game they want to have a game that's fun and not be told that it's not fun for them because they weren't represented in it. Now, I know there's some people that watch the channel that do play 40K. They are engrossed in it. And uh, for Christ's sakes, you got uh, Henry Car and Carville, Carville, Car whatever his name is. I always get it wrong. Um, he He's a big 40K nerd. And that's the thing. You're a nerd to play these games and have fun and and in, in, encapsulate and make the colors in do whatever you want with your mechs, your little, your little monsters and your little uh, units just to have fun with. That's the whole point is to have fun. No one cares about this stupid representation stuff because it just completely destroys fandoms and destroys everything else. And we're seeing it over and over again. The, the Tex Radar uh, article saying it's capitalism at, the, at its finest. We must rise up against it. No, no. You, you, you need to actually have fun with the game and, and defeat the demons that are there and get rid of them. And that's the whole purpose of it. That's the whole reason why it's fantasy and why it's not reality and why you can have fun with it. Try and walk away from the, uh, the entities of the world that are trying to bring you down and escape them for once and actually have fun. If, it, if you sat there and dwelled on everything that uh, just doesn't represent representation in this, uh, in this case, or diversity matters crowd, then it's not going to be fun. And the small little things that, that are there are just going to eat you alive. And this is where you, you sit there and you rise up and you say, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to play the game the way I want to play the game. And that's the same thing with Magic the Gathering. Play the game you want to play the game. It's just there's corporate versus... The other side of the coin of people saying, oh, you've got to do this because it's wrong. Because they've been socially wronged in the past. No, that's not what makes a good game. What makes a good game is compelling stories, fun, unique aspects, and just people wanting to ignore the world for once. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you all next time.